Guys! It's me! The part-time streamer! I'm here!
that's loud. Oh, that's, that was a nice, subtle transition there. That's all I do here. Wait, is it loud? Chat, can you hear music before we even start? <laughs> Please tell me it's not just me hearing this, all right? <laughs> Please tell me it's not just me. Please tell me there's some form of music. There is! <laughs> We've actually done it. Wait, it was saying no, no, wait, no. Oh, come on now. Right, no, I don't believe you. I don't believe you. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, God fucking damn it! There's no music! <laughs> it's alright. I'm getting well versed at adding this now. Where is it? I'm getting good at this now. How about now? How about now? Go in, go in. Good job, guys. Aren't you, aren't you like impressed at how good of a streamer I am? Are you impressed? Look at those bangers on. Hello, everyone. How you doing? Well, it's good to see you guys. It, it feels like it's been a long time. It's been 11 days since my last stream. That's a long time for me. Fucking hell. Thank you very much, Screamlight. Thank you. Good to see you, dude. Yeah, we'll talk about that in a minute. We'll talk about... Uh... So, yeah, it was pretty, uh, pretty mad, huh? The weekend. Fucking hell. I don't know what to say. Nick, thank you, dude. Thank you for the rubs. Cheers, man. Yeah, Goldie for the win, dude. Oh, but, um, yeah, my neck, my neck's pretty wrecked. And my arms, my arms are okay now. They've recovered. My neck hasn't recovered. Um, but, yeah, I mean, that, that went pretty much, I think, as well as it could have gone, really. Couldn't it? I mean, we, um... Had two P4s. Two P4s in class, I think sixth and eighth overall out of like 35 cars, something like that, so... Mad, yeah, amazing. We're almost, almost on for a podium in the first race as well, but unfortunately, uh, the guy behind me is like an LMP2 driver, so... Not much I can really do there. Thank you, Liam. Cheers, dude. Thank you, uh, Felipe. Cheers, mate. Good streamer, better racing driver. No, about that, dude. Um... But man, so many like cool things. So many cool things. Um, I don't know. It was just a, an amazing experience. And first of all, before I even start this, I got to say like just a monumental thank you to everyone who came along and supported Aww. the stream. Like I think you like usual brick car audience is like 400 people. There were nearly 5,000 people in that chat. Um, so yeah, you guys were, um, you guys were amazing. So thank you all for the, the mad, mad support. Honestly, it's, uh, I've never encountered such a thing like that. Yeah. You, you hugged live timing to death as well. You, you, you made it really hard for poor Dave. All right. Dave tried his best. Um, and there were some cool ass pictures that came out of it. I need to make sure I get the right, um, people credit the right people for this picture but the, my favorite picture so far i don't think i've shared this anywhere just yet it's from um who we got here Aww. from fireproof creative and fuzzy images so cool that it's my background look at that How amazing is that? I'm I'm totally gonna get a, this like blown up and put on my wall in my uh, in my house. Like amazing. It's like so cool to see like my helmet in that, you know. Yeah, it's it's, it's, it's gonna sound really stupid, but like, oh my god, man, the helmet looks so good in that. Cool. I'm like, oh wait, it's me in the helmet. <laughs> Friend, small. I also have. 
a little bit of footage. Only a little bit of footage. It's, uh, we haven't really gone through it all yet. It is loud and it is shaky because unfortunately, um, when you attach a GoPro to a roll bar, um, it, um, it shakes a bit. But do you guys want to see it? You guys want to see it on ball lap? I'll get to all these alerts in a minute. You guys are being amazing as always. Um, but thank you, everybody. Now, it's, it's a bit shaky. I say it, it's a lot shaky. And it is quite loud. So yeah, across the start finish line, down here, a sixth gear, a little confidence break on the way in, back on the throttle, then flat all the way through this right and left. Come round here, then heavy on the brakes, down the third gear, watch out for the oil dust on the left, turn her in. On the throttle, get the turbo spooled nice and early, flat down the hill, keep it in third gear, then dip it into the right hand, this will kill my arms towards the end of the race. Then we go on to the hangar straight, fourth gear, fifth gear. And then sixth gear, up to 250 k's on the back straight. Look at this marker, we're going to drive straight past it. Hammer on the brakes, down a fourth. Onto the entrance here at Stowe, pick up the throttle nice and early. Let it just run wide onto the kerb. Then go underneath the gantry down to Vale, get the top of the crest. Down the second gear, roll the car in, carry the corner speed. Third gear early for traction. And then flat all the way through here, up to fourth gear, right to the apex. That's a lap of Silverstone International in a Praga. But yeah, the camera didn't have a good time. <laughs> but yeah, the, the, the gear change is like smash <laughs> every time you do it. It's um. Yeah, it's 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 crazy. It's uh, it's mad to think uh, this. Uh, I know it sounds stupid, right? But it's mad to see that footage. Go, oh, that's me driving that. Um, it still hasn't quite got right. Um, I will. I'll ask the guys to put because uh, I'll ask the guys to put it up for sale. They haven't. They, they gave it to me for free, so I'll ask them to put it up for sale, and then you guys can buy it if you want. I, I want to make sure they get something for it because that picture's really great. Um, right. I've got a couple of things to go over. First of all, thank you, Dan Hill, for the fiver. Cheers, dude. Did Sussex proud or was it some earlier? No, both, mate. Thank you, Will, so much for the fiver as well. Your first floor feedback, Will. I just list like a madman there. Hope you enjoy, dude. The Praga is your ultimate floor feedback, Will. I'll tell you that now, man. Um, oh, someone's bought a poster, I think, or something. Thank you. Hope you enjoy it. It's anonymous, but thank you. YOLO boy 2. Thank you, man. Not good at thumbnails. What's wrong with the thumbnail? Is it is it messed? Is the thumbnail messed up? It shouldn't be. Is it scuffed? I can unscuff it. Oh god, it's scuffed. I'm sorry. Let me unscuff it. <laughs> there you go. It should be better now. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> oh, I'm just so good at this streaming. I'm so good at this streaming, man. The PS1 thumbnail. Um, Zachary, thank you for the Zars as well, dude. Thank you, YOLO boy. For bringing that to my attention. Brady, thank you, mate. Got any Poggers overtakes? Um, mostly it was just traffic, really. I did overtake one of the Pragas down into Vale, but that was really about it. Mostly it was just traffic. Um, went around the outside of someone at Stow. That's scary. Um, but that'll all be in the video, so don't worry. Thank you, Ozzy, as well. Thank you for the fiver. Thank you, man. The ne next race in two weeks' time at Snetterton. I need to, like, burn that a bit. Um, thank you, Connor, as well. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I think we, we, we both, I think, drove fairly well in that. I was really happy with my pace, so... Yeah, it's got to continue, really. Thank you, Brian Lopez, as well. Cheers, dude. Thank you for the fiver. And George... It's got his first B-class podium in iRace. So, man, you guys are smashing it while I've been away. Maybe, maybe you do better when I'm not here. <laughs> uh, thank you, April, as well. My fellow Somalians must be ecstatic. 
I need to get fitter, man. Um, thank you, good reverend, as well. Yeah, man, this totally living my dreams. And uh, I don't really know about that uh, yet, good reverend. I'll have to, we'll see. Um, Daniel asked what getting signatures are. It's uh, getting signatures so you can race. So you have to basically... So I now I now hold an A license, which is really cool. Um, but you have to get six um, signatures at, at like club level to get into the next one. Um, thank you, Hesso, as well. Cheers, dude. Thank you, David C. Thank you, mate. Oh, I don't want to be a GT man. GTM. I don't want to... Oh, no, I'm really happy where I am, all right? Really happy where I am. Thank you, SRS. Cheers, mate. Got yourself a Will Awesome, man. Hope you enjoy that. Uh, JF Richard asked, when are we going to get progress in iRacing? I don't know. Ask iRacing. That'd be cool. That'd be really cool. Uh, Alex, thank you for the five, for mate. Yeah, hang out with the plebs. Dude, I, I miss this. It's really weird when you sort of go into real life for a while. Because, like, 11 days not streaming is, like, one of the longest periods I've had when I've not streamed. So, like, you come back, you're like, oh, God, I've forgotten how to talk and do things. It's weird. Um, and thank you, JT Laser, as well. <laughs> thank you, mate. Yeah, it's it's crazy. As the Praga compared to GT3 car, they're about equal at Silverstone. Oh, it's just a bit slower. But, guys, you might have noticed down here, exclamation mark, feel for fans, that um, we have an, an, an unboxing to do before we get on with our F1 race today. I'm going to un unbox, sorry, some... Uh, up to date fuel for fans merch you might know them i've sort of um worked with them before in the past um they do they're a seller of like f1 merch on behalf of uh, f1 teams and whatnot so we have or I've, I've opened the box already which is terrible but i don't really know what's in there yet so we're gonna go over everything see what's in there and uh do our usual challenge i think of seeing if we can get everything on <laughs> at once because why the hell not, I suppose. But yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm partnering them for the entirety of this year, which is really cool. And they were really happy last year with my really terrible meme images that we put together on Twitter. Um, so let's, um, let's see what we got. First of all, I'm going to just get out the box and then show. So first thing to uncock. We have the extremely blessed... Mercedes AMG flask. Do I actually get it out? If you drink this, you become blessed. Drink out of this. Don't drink the actual flask. There you go. My blessing has begun, chat. We got one. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Tastes like... Mm, tastes like being crashed into by Williams. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Tastes like looting my seat. <laughs> okay, I can go over there. Um, what's next? We have... Oh, yes! Okay. We have... If I can open it. Oh, my God. Opening things is so hard. Are you ready? <laughs> Hello, guys. It is I... Aston Martin cog cognizant F1 team fan. This this hat really fits my head well, which is interesting. What else we got? Oh god, it's another fucking hat. Okay. Um oh yeah, right. So next up. Ah We have McLaren hat. So, you know, when Vettel inevitably spins, we can rely on on Lando Norris. Fellow streamer, <sighs> to do us well. There you go. That's good. Well, that, that sort of covers the Aston Martin a bit. There you go. That's better. Now we're now we're dual streaming. How am I gonna? Oh, there's clothes. How am I gonna do this? Speaking of McLaren, we got some fucking more in here. We got a hoodie. Mac a hoodie. Uh, oh my! My bed's just for the plastic. I sleep better on plastic, chat. Don't chat. What if we held hands on the plastic-filled bed? Probably get arrested. Uh, right, I'm going to have to remove the ultimate hat quickly.
We're gonna be true gamers. Oh yeah. I think I'm gonna save the, the turbo hat for the end. So there you go. Very orange hoodie. Very orange. Oh, what else have we got? Oh, God. Okay, that can be... More Maca merch. This is a McLaren heavy package, this one. Oh, wait. This is a T-shirt. Fuck. Um... They don't even give the shit to funny... Uh, to fucking... Lander, he has, he has to buy this stuff. But, but because I'm a better streamer than he is, they send me this stuff for free. So, sorry, Lando. Sorry that I'm a better streamer than you, mate. But don't don't take it personally. Quadrant. This is the wrong order, but I don't care. Oh. Oh, no. And now we have me from, like, a couple of months ago now. <laughs> this is good. All right. So. Oh, there's more stuff in here for fuck's sake. <laughs> I mean, thank you, FIFA fans. Uh, what's that? Oh! We got uh, the actual real... The actual real Red Bull merch, instead of my fake last season Red Bull merch. Uh. Oh god. Ah, uh, so much plastic! It's like Christmas! There you go, got that. Oh, chat, we've got to put this on, haven't we? <laughs> I'm I'm kind of already regretting this uh, this uh this decision. Ah. Uh. Okay, I got this, man. I'm already really quite hot. I'm quite warm already. Uh, uh, okay. Hey, Jimmy, here's loads of F1 merch for this season. Proceeds to ruin it immediately by stretching out over each other. Okay, this is going to work out. Okay. I don't know if to do this. No. There you go, now we're good. Uh. Oh, God. The final part of, like, actual putting on my clothing clothing. We got the incredibly blessed t-shirt. The Bono, I've got my car stuck in the gravel. What do you mean, reverse? Bonald. <laughs> there you go. And BT Dubs, because I'm such a turbo shill, you can get all of this stuff right now. I think with 20% with off. If you use my code, exclamation mark fuel for fans. Um, I don't recommend doing this though. This is quite warm. We've got a mask as well! So I can protect myself from non-F1 fans! How do I work this? What the fuck is this? <laughs> I 
chunk. <laughs> I am feeling quite chunky right now. Let me in. <laughs> okay. So you got your filter. Filter. I'm British. How you know? How you know I'm British? How do you know I'm British? Oh, I don't, I don't need a filter right now. Uh, okay. Uh, do that. I oh, know. Now, guys, you are true F1 fans. Unless you got all the fucking merch, all right? Unless you got all the merch. Don't, don't even talk to me. Don't even, unless you submit memes to WTF1, don't even talk to me, all right? This is it. And you could look as beautiful as me. Uh, exclamation mark, for first. <laughs> Fakers! You're all fakers out there! Oh! Oh, I'm so hot! Oh no! I keep my label on. Labels stay on during sex. There you go. Ah. Uh, obviously, the Aston Martin hat is a firm favourite. Yeah, I'm leaving the tag, guys. Uh, oh my god, there's so much stuff here. Ah. <laughs> uh, Shall we play the game, chat? What do you reckon? Play the game? Man, man plays game. Oh, wait, how do I go to the game scene? Thank you, Eric. He says, the ultimate F1 fan. You're damn right I am, man. And here we are. Ultimate F1. Thank you, Vocaloid to Sim. <laughs> all the merch for the next Praga race. Thankfully, none of it's fireproof, so I have to... I can't wear it. Wait, did my... Is, is, is the music go? <laughs> God damn. Oh, I love being a streamer. It's actually my favourite. Did you know, chat, that being a streamer is my favourite fucking thing in the world? Did you know that? Hey, that should be better, maybe. Who knows? Um, I think we've got to do some, like, upgrades or something. Are we that bad, shit houses? Thank you, Adam. Thank you so much for the 499, dude. You're for, oh, you. To be honest, mate, at the moment, I think if you're going to save for a wheel, fucking get one of those new Fanatec Direct Drive things, right? Like they're like what 300 and something quid, and are a direct drive wheel. And then you got fucking Logitech out here charging 300 and something uh, and something quid for like something. You make in fucking year nine DT project, you know, the clacky boys. I am going for next season, says Jimmy. Wait, next season, Wang Speed is going to be on it straight away.
Exactly, guys. Ultimate Chads never leave home without four layers of F1 merch on. Exactly. You, you better not be leaving home without it. Yeah, it's going to be out of stock just like that, isn't it? Thank you, Mason. Sorry that I missed a few alerts. I'm trying to, like, keep up with actually being a streamer because I'm really bad at that. And um, doing other things as well. If someone's screaming there. That's normal. Let's have a look quick. Um... Thank you, Mason, for the fiver. Sorry that I missed that, dude. Yeah, man, two fourth bases. We're happy at that. Well happy. JT Lane says YouTube explodes during merch display. Thank you, Foxy. Cheers, dude. Mate, can I tell you how scary it was? Right, imagine, right? Imagine you're me. Imagine you're a prime example of uh, an epic sim racing gamer. You're going down the straight. <laughs> This car's pretty fucking loud. My neck hurts. My my arms hurt. You look in the mirror and you see it. You see it behind you. You see it closing in. Do you know what it is, chat? Do you know what it is you see closing in behind you? I mean, you see it from a long way away. It's it's not a small thing. Massive ass. All right. You see the GTR. That is that picture is not edited. That is the size difference. <laughs> I wish it was edited. Thank you, Niels. Private driver for Phil's dream of becoming a streamer. <laughs> so the thing is, right, I saw it in the mirror and I saw it go to the inside. And I was like, oh, my God, if that hits me, I'm going to die. I'm going to be killed. <laughs> um, so I, I was sort of quite easy with it when it when it came by. I didn't fight it. I, I kind of should have done really. I, I didn't know it was a position. I thought it was lapping me. Fun. But um, yeah, it was uh, pretty spooky. Well, we, we actually genuinely got a, um, a message from the Clark of the Course being like, Yo, Praga guys, you've been really good, you've been really respectful, really cool. We did get some feedback saying that no one can see you at all, though. So, if you're alongside, assume they can't see you. Thank you, Magic. Cheers, mate. Pro streamer. Definitely not, mate. Absolute pleb is what I am. Thank you so much, mate, for the 14 bucks. Scott as well. Cheers, dude. Chonk. GTR. It really is that small. It's tiny. Yeah, how are you sure I know? <laughs> Did anyone crash? There were a few crashes in Brick Car. Um, luckily, not involving any of us, really. Um, turbo size, you say? Wait, haven't I got to do, like, time management or something? I completely forget how this game works. Yeah, there you go. Richard, thank you, mate. Cheers, dude, for the, the 10 bucks. Or 10 pounds, sorry. Thank you, man. Mate, really? Fucking hell, Arthur. That's, that's crazy. I know, like, um, I've heard that the like, Brazilian prices are quite mad. Um, I need some of that weight training. Please. Aero team go for launch to have the munch. Thank you, Pendragon. Cheers, mate. Thank you. Good to see you, dude. There are so I'm missing so many alerts here. I'm sorry, dude. I'm, I'm trying my best. <coughs> oh, no. Oh, my God. Actually having parts in the car? What is this? This is literally just static. Great music. Thank you, Bias Sherman. Cheers, dude. 
I did see the back end of the Valigier. I saw it like because they they were all behind the pit. Um, so when you like come into the pit lane, they're behind that wall there, and you see it, you're like, oh. Can I put a wang on this? Oh. What's tiny, penis or Praga? That's why I can drive the Praga. I got a small willy. I fit in. <laughs> it's we. Thank you, mate. Right, um, what am I doing? What am I doing right now in my life? We're playing a game! Uh, no, no, wrong button. Um, so if you're unfamiliar with the championship standings as they are right now, um, I am also unfamiliar. I'm trying to... Them. There you go. We are actually fourth. We might even beat LeGreg. We could beat LeGreg here. A uh, couple of wins under our belt, as you can see. We might have to up the difficulty just a tiny bit. <coughs> oh. oh no, it's happening. Cheers, Josh, as well. Made my arms feel better of 100% force feedback. Yeah, I need to, man, really, don't I? AI is on like 102, something like that. Um, thank you, Burning Fly, as well. Says good evening. Hello. Andy, thank you for the free quid, mate. You know what? I'm going to say, honestly, that um, the time in Brick uh, in ILMS, it helped. Like, like the, the competence to actually do it, that's something you got to work up in real life. But like, the way you sort of like spy out gaps and look for where you need to be going, that's a hundred percent like on on you. You know, like you have to sort of know that. Did he? Probably turn this down a little bit, shouldn't I? Loud music. Um. Yeah, Richard, thank you for the tenor, mate. I think I said thank you for that already, but I want to make sure that I did. So I don't want to have missed anybody. Um, Lane G, thank you for the uh, 20 bucks, mate. It says Thickerino Jimmer. Hello. So thick. And Dragon, thank you for that 10 bucks again, mate. It says congrats on the results yesterday. It was a great race to watch. Thank you, mate. It was um, amazing to take part in it. But i got to tell you, right, I need to work on my fitness. My, my like, respect for the people who do that properly... Like, you know, IndyCar drivers, for example. That was a, that race on right now at St. Pete, isn't it? St. Pete? Um, and my respect for those guys has just gone woof. Because I did a 40-minute stint in the first race. Um, because of how the safety car panned out. And in the last, like, 15 minutes of it, I, did, I only did, like, uh, 25 minutes. In the last 15 minutes, I was just... I was really struggling. I was really struggling with my neck and my... Um, and my arms so much so that we got I was going round um the last part onto the pit straight and I was doing this on the headrest. This my neck just gave up. Can I put a wang on this? And the arms as well, like I can tell you that um yeah, it's heavy. It's really it's heavy. Really heavy. Ah, nice, said Penguin. Very good, I like that. Thank you, Francesco. Cheers, dude. Thank you uh, for watching as well. And thank you, uh, Taylor. Cheers for the five bucks, mate. Cheers, dude. Yeah, I need to work on, on my neck. Well, also, before we start, we've got to go do our usual setup borrowing technique. I wish I had stuff actually set up. Oh, my God. Heckin'. Heckin' heck. Heck. There's no race highlights, but you can watch, like, the full race. So I'm just going to get a set up quick. You can watch, like, the full race over on the um, BARC YouTube channel. And make sure to leave a nice comment about Dave. He, he, Dave basically sat there and commentated the race on his own with no live timing for ages. Um, and from what I hear, you guys were, like, um, really well behaved over there as well, which is nice. Because I know that I, I'm in no way responsible for what you do when you leave this stream. Um... You know what you say and what you do but you know i always worry that the people that go over there and sort of shout the loudest are the ones people are going to think that uh 
represent our community, which is not how it was at all. Everyone was really nice, really well behaved. A lot of crabs. <laughs> I did see a lot of crabs over there. Um, but yeah, you all seemed like you were you were great. So thank you for being for being cuties. Very cute chat. Right, where is Brazil? Panterino Jimo. Yeah, I dropped in a couple of times during the day. Obviously, I was kind of busy, um, but it was so so amazing. See, for me, it was nice to see some people actually interested in like British motorsport. You know, watching it. Please no Panterino Jimo. Oh, this one. Mashed potato. <laughs> Thank you, mate. Hunterino is a word I use daily. Good. Thank you, Elliot West. Yeah, I saw Jared in there as well. What a lad. Jared is a proper homie, man. A lot of time for my boy Jared. Or I can tell everyone, um, you know, everyone from on the online community has been around at some point. That was great. Right, let's see if my arms still work, man. Oh, wait. Hit lane. I'm like, where's my 4C back? Bonnels. Perfect. Oh god, it's so light. <laughs> it's so light. I've got to turn the force feedback, that man. That's too little. Wait, is it in here? Oh, there's your problem. Please, no punterino, Jimmer. Thank you, Callum. Cheers, dude. And Daniel, too. Cheers, mate. And Felipe, thank you for another fiver, man. Thank you. Wait, why is understeer enhance on? Fuck off. Oh, this will be off, but... Maybe it is. Alright, let's go! Come on, Wang Speed! Oh my god. Oh, it's so weird. Being in Sim again. Thank you, Robel. Cheers, mate. The bra meme, yes. Get in there. Oh no, Lewis. DRS zone is coming up. Get ready to open it. Bono, my car is slidey. Thank you, John. Cheers, mate. Ooh. Apparently, that's purple. Thank you, game. Extremely cool. We had our first um, brick car race yesterday. Well, first two races yesterday.
Mm. There you go, Daniel. Daniel. Look at that. I can still remember how to do it, almost. Super slow time, though. Great stuff. You pretty much nailed it. Thank you, Geff. Oh, thank you, John. You know what? Like, I'm, I'm not. I'm not going to be too um, too sentimental because I don't want to get into it too much. But like, I was thinking that like, I really would have loved to have my like. My granddad there to like see it all, you know, or even, like even my dad to, you know, although we, we weren't, you know, I lost him quite early in my life. It was kind of, it would have been nice to have him there because he would have loved it. He would have fucking, he would have been so into it and so would a granddad as well, you know. Um, but that's why he's on the back of the suit, you know, that's why he's there. So take him with us for the ride. Wait, what? Oh yeah, when the four seat back died. That's why it didn't feel right. So far, our fastest lap is a one minute eleven point three. Yeah, um, Hodge, who is a true hero, was uh, he was saying that he was going to um, hire a like sky banner, you know, like the banners you fly in planes. Across the circuit that just says Jimmy's a cunt. I was looking for it all race. <laughs> I was like, where is it? Where is it? Um I know it's tempting to focus entirely on the race, but we should put a bit of time aside to run the qualifying sim program. Try to run it before the end of FP three if you can. Let's go to the next session. That would be pretty good. But they're, they're, they think that Autumn Park is going to be the um, earliest the that they're going to accept the fans. Let's see our top three again. Bottas, Hamilton, and Daniel Ricciardo. What an incredible practice session. The fun doesn't um, stop Which is actually a day before my birthday, that race. So you can have a really good birthday or a really bad one. That was an exciting race from our perspective. Let's have yours. Interesting results, Steve. Please, no punterino, Jimmer. Wait, you say race? Fuck off! Fuck off! Thank you for your time. That's right. Please, please don't fuck the radio, Jimmer. <laughs> uh, thank you, Askat. Cheers, mate. I'm from India, dude. I I hope you're yeah you and your family are safe over there right now, man. It's like you're really. Been hit hard at the moment, but I uh, hope you're well, dude. And uh, thank you, Metallica, for life. Cheers, dude. Yeah, man, you you guys are gonna like this video. The next one, I think. We got a lot of really cool footage. So, you know what we um, do you know what we did? I felt like a proper racing driver. We went over data and we looked at brake shapes. Chat. You ever you ever looked at brake shapes? Oh, that's a very nice line you got there. That's, oh, I like that curve. Oh, a bit long on that curve there, Jimmy. A bit long. But basically, the data was, you know, the, the TLDR of the data was Jimmy stop being a fucking pussy and break later. <laughs> like, I was like, okay, I'm sorry. I'm just, I'm just a small boy trying his best. Can I put a wang on this? Oh! Michael, thank you, dude. No punterino, mate. Mate, the stickers work. Guys, exclamation mark merch. This is going to be a proper shawl. Now, at the start of... Um, you know, at, at the end of testing, we put on the no punterino stickers. And there were some pretty big incidents in the races. None of them came anywhere near us. Because we were protected by the please no punterino stickers. 
seconds. All right. You can tell me what you want over the radio. Press and hold the radio button to activate the system, and you can either speak the command or select it manually Very from fast, the radio screen off. that will appear on the multifunction display. While Thank you, Murph. Active, cycle through command groups with the Welcome to the membership gang. Enjoy your membership. The basement welcomes all. Brave enough to venture down to it. Banger. I'm thinking about doing like a white version of the sticker as well, if you guys are sort of into that. This test is all about tire management. Try to control the slip through each corner and take extra care putting the power down at the apex. Yeah, exactly. You know, I my, one of my like my one of my fears of like doing this thing with Praga is that they'd be quite stiff in like what they allow and what they don't allow in terms of like content. But they're actually really, really chill with everything. They're like they're like if you know, as long as it isn't offending anybody, and you know, they don't really care. Post what you want. Do what you want, you know. Um, so they've been really cool with it all. One of the reasons why I love, you know, I love this so much because that uh, you have that freedom. But I always get worried that someone's going to give you an opportunity, but on their terms, you know, like where you can't really do anything. So Prague have been really cool with that. Ugh. Ah, that fucking... Annoyingly, I messed up the bottom there. I just, uh... Spun the tires and exit. Please, no punterino, Jimmer. Thank you, R32 guests. Thank you. Oh, chat. Would you like a sneaky skyline update? I will. Oh my god, Gregor! Dude, thank you so much for the 50 quid. Oh man, dude, I'm really sorry that you're struggling, man, but you ain't, you never have to, like, donate or anything to bring that to the, um, to the forefront of the conversation but i will say gregor that um my discord has a sort of a channel that is sort of dedicated to that it's called personal help um no one in there is by any means a psychologist or a trained therapist or anything like that but if you want to just go in there and vent it's a good place to do so there are also some numbers you can call if you're having a really tough time in there so um Thank you so much, though, for the generosity, but please don't think you've got to be doing that to, to, you know, get that information or do those things. It's not paid to have mental health in here. We don't do it that way. But, uh, yeah, I hope you feel better soon, man. I know those things can really throw a dark cloud over you. Oh, God, why is it so bad down the hill there? It's just easy out of here. I've got time to spare. Okay, good. Thank you so much, mate. That's a lot of money to give an idiot, as I always say. Thank you, Chris, as well. Yeah, mate. Um, the, the weekend went about as well as it could have done, really. Did you do the drive over the weekend match the sim well enough to make improvements to your braking? Um, to be honest, the we need to work on the brake pedal a bit um, in on the sim. It's a little bit soft, I think. Yeah, it, it, it was pretty like you have to really kick kick it to get the big hit, and then. Like, poof, then off like that, slowly. It's a downforce car, you know. The thing is, like, braking in real life and braking in sim is different. 
you get a lot more feel for Brit. Like, I'm, I don't know. I feel like I have more potential as a real life, in, in a real life car than I do on a sim because the amount of details that come in, I I need that apparently. I'm, I'm I can't do all the sim stuff as well. But this is inter It's like interesting finding all these things out because you not not many people get the chance to even think about that, let alone go and try it out. You know. Testing fuel management here, so try to Thank you, see what's happening, man. Cheers, dudes. Don't be too aggressive on the power. Yeah, that was a blind of our strategy, guy, as well, getting us in the pit lane. Massive ass. Confirmed. Oh, thank you, Vital. Cheers, dude. Welcome. Oh god. We know, we know the thing that I, I never I never worried about getting hurt when I was out there. That never ever crossed my mind. I was just worried about being slow. It's weird how your mind changes a bit. But the first time I went into T1 because T1 is like a if you're really fast, like Gordy, it's like a blend of the throttle in sixth gear but that involves sort of catching the car a little bit i was having a confidence break on the way in there but apparently so was um abby so i don't feel so bad about that um in sixth gear and then you're straight back on the front well, that's like 120 115 mile an hour something like that through there it's really fucking fast when you come up on it i, I, I mean like through the that's your minimum speed through there also oops um i mean you you enter at like 130 something when you turn in you know and then Bend off a little bit of speed, but it really is. Um, you 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 think of that, and then you go out there and actually experience it. You're like, oh my fucking god! In this program, we want you to focus on fuel saving technique, lift and coast through. Thank you, Peter. So how's the uh, how's the neck? Uh, it's pretty achy, mate. I've got to work on it definitely. I just want to drive over a curb. Um, ah, when you like get speed, it doesn't really feel like anything. You don't even notice it. If it's low speed and it's a high curb, then yeah. Um, but if I even, I didn't go anywhere near the big sausage boys because they would have destroyed the the front of the car. Alex, mate, it's my pleasure. I I love making this content. Getting to make the content I've been making recently has been such a breath of fresh air for me creatively and also like. It's just a lot more exciting for me than doing the same sim video I've been doing for the last four or five years. Don't get me wrong, I still love doing sim stuff. It's why I'm here right now doing a F1. But it's nice to get to progress, and you guys seem to be really like reacting to it as well. Those videos have all done really well. Um, so, yeah, I'm hoping you guys will like the Praga stuff too. Ugh, to me. Thank you, Stephen Lee. Welcome to the basement, mate. You will be hosed down by the mod shortly. Okay, test complete, and that was a very good job indeed. We got a lot of valuable information out of that. Well, yeah, Rick. You know, like I sort of came to that conclusion on my own when I couldn't get my head up. You know. Please no Panterino Jimmo. Thank you, Mr. Oatmeal. I'm, I'm neither. I'm not a professional sim racer or a, a professional racing driver. I'm an amateur of both those things. Enthusiastic amateur. Can I put a wang on this? Oh! We're fifth in the speed trap. 206.3 miles per hour. Don't cast it in. No, that wasn't me, no. Can I Keep. put a wang on this? Oh. I know the car's being tested a bit. Um, there might be up there, I don't know. But Praga tattoo if podium. God, I don't know. The 
car settings screen on your multi-function display will allow you to change various settings Please, as you no drive. Hunterino. I I have no tattoos. You can then navigate up and down to the setting you want to change. I have no tattoos. I'm not a tattoo guy. Our best lap so far. I'll think about it. One minute ten point seven. Not a good lap time, is it, chat? Dave said it. Okay, if Dave said it, then it is true. Thank you, Mike. Yeah, next next race in two weeks' time. It's time to remind ourselves of our top three, who are Bottas, Hamilton, and Daniel Ricciardo. Sadly, it's time to say goodbye as free practice is over. However, we'll be back shortly. For Crap tattoo. God damn it. How do you tell who's in the car? You can't really. Um, if you watch the races back, I, I was in the ra I was in the car second both times. Um, but um, there's no way of doing it right now, from what I know. You have to just sort of know the driver order. But I'm flattered that you couldn't tell who was in the car out of me and Jem. Thank you, Manuel. Performance enhancing net donut cash. What? <laughs> Thank you, Peter. Yeah, I need, I need the uh, Tony Canal neck, don't I? I'll tell you what, Jimmy. When I when I, when I saw the um, when I saw the the crash on the on the thing, I was like, oh god, I'm I'm about to go out there, you know. Um, but again, as soon as you get ready, like. Sounds cliche, but as soon as the helmet goes on, you're like, okay. Off we go. Yeah, I know, I know the sort of times I was I was doing. I, I'm i fairly confident, like, right at the end, I could have gone quicker. But honestly, the, you, know, you know the thing that, and it is me, that limited myself. It was on my arms. I just went. I was struggling so much to turn into the, the corner onto the straight, onto the hangar straight, and the corner before that, the two right-handers. I could barely turn the car in, so it was, was slowing me right down. That's what really slowed me down right at the end, so I've got to really work on that. Once I think once once I get that physical stuff out of the way, and it's not like, it's not becoming an issue like that, I think I'll be quicker. Who massive ass? Who, who was the massive ass, chat? I missed it. Okay, this is a quali sim. We've estimated the times our closest rivals will be doing, so that's what we need to beat. Thank you, massive ass. I will double check in a second. I actually had a chat with um, JWW on the test day. He didn't do the race because his teammate wasn't there. Um, but he was like, oh, everyone in my uh, video started getting get an interview with you, so hi. I'm like, hi, man. <laughs> he, seemed, he seemed pretty all right in that very short exchange we had, you know? I'll check who that member was in a second. I don't want to leave that without a thank. Oh, bad. Oh, God. I fucking hate the brakes and F1. Oopsie. Oh, Jimmy. Oh, my brake bias is not in the right place. That's pretty white. Oh, fucking hell. No, they're both 50 50. Fucking hell. Uh, thank you to uh, James for becoming a member, and also to uh, Emrys, Emrys Evans, thank you 
Welcome membership people. The basement welcomes you in. And thank you, Redbeard Max. Cheers, dude. No, no, no. I know. I don't worry. I, I wasn't like, oh my god, the pressure. Just thinking about it. I'm releasing the fucking brake pedal. Tires don't lock under 10% of brake. Unless you're like off the ground. Jimmy. That ain't it. Oh, that's far, far, far too early on the turning. Like I did my safety swerve. Only the safest of driving on this channel chat. Oh, Jimmy, come on, mate. Welcome to Jimmy Locks Up and Understeers Through Every Corner Simulator. I will be your guide. This is my label. Just park this car here. See, now it will lock up because I'm off, off the ground, you see. Thank you, uh, T. He says, I may be several years younger than you and a guy, but I felt like a proud mum yesterday. Much love. Well, thank you, man. That's uh, very nice of you to say. Again, chat was super supportive. You're all very cute, chat. You know that. Is it intimidating? Not really, like, intimidating. More just like, that's a big car. Um, I don't want to get in. I don't want to run a, have contact with it. Oh god, who's that? The Mighty Dart! Welcome! Please, we're looking for good data that we can work into the race strategy. Consistent laps, oh no chat. We can't do that. That's the line. Thank you, Sam. Just over 10 minutes time. Oh rain no! <laughs> Actually, no, wait. No, well, the thumbnail says we need rain. <laughs> I didn't remember my own my own thumbnails. Am I going to try and compete in the GT Olympics? No. Oh god, a honk! Holy shit! What the fuck? <laughs> what? Carter! Dude! 180 fucking what jesus dude thank you so much can i put a wang on this are oh. you sure God, thank you man bloody hell thank you man he says um haven't gotten to the race ship planning on watching after the stream Congrats on achieving the dream, and here's a little something to celebrate. Mate, that's more than a little fucking something. Bloody hell. I can get, like... What can I get with that? I can get one signed picture of Stephen J. Bailey with that. He might even he might even kiss it for me. Dude, thank you. That's, um, that's really generous, man. Thank you. Just please make sure you aren't putting yourself out, because that's a lot of money. Thank you, man. Um... Shadow Link as well. Thank you, dude. Thank you for the fiver. Thank you, ma'am. Ah, nice, man. Enjoy the car, dude. They're, they're cool cars, they are. 
yeah, but thank you guys. Um, yeah, mad, mad ting. Oh wait, I'm on a lap. Uh, thank you, Carl. <laughs> I'm going to try and now salvage this lap after forgetting where I was going. Should be okay, I think, maybe. It'll be good. Oh, bloody hell. And yeah, thank you as well, Shadow Dude. Hope you enjoy your, your car, man. I've always wanted to drive a, a Focus ST. I'm actually kind of thinking of selling, like, um, the GTR recently, because after driving the Praga, like, like you, one, you don't ever use the GTR on a public road to what it should be used, and the Praga is just so much faster than anything I've ever driven before that I'm like, is there even any point <laughs> owning this car? I slow through there, man. Oh, god damn it. I really got to turn this difficulty out, man. Okay, super job so far. Also, like, sort of, um, Stay focused. getting my, uh, my house keys on the 30th, so, um, kind of need some, uh, kind of need to go to furnish it. <laughs> Can't furnish the, uh, the house of a car, unfortunately. I have to make adult decisions, it's horrible. Yeah, it's been a kind of crazy, um, kind of crazy few weeks. A uh, couple of kind of terrible things happening. Some really good things happening too, so yeah, a, a real mix of emotions uh, recently. But uh, I'm living, still living, you know, a very, a very privileged life, and I'm very thankful for it all. So thank you guys for all being a part of that. Am I done yet? I am. Oh. Oh, God, my arms ache. Pit entry? Nah, what are you talking about? I've got lazy, I've got like pit entry and automatic. Dude, I've got dude, that's that's too far. The session has drawn to a close, so let's review our top three. Bottas, Wang, and Max Verstappen. And that's Max. Nah, it's usually one day for me for like aching, and like oh, it's better. They are better than they were this morning. So I'm having arms. Hey, you guys have got all the fucking decision. You got all the ideas today, man. Hey, if you guys missed it earlier, I'll uh, I'll hit you again with the uh, the onboard footage of the. Ah, oh, that's bright. Oh god, that's bright. Um, the onboard footage I have of um the Praga. Again, a bit loud and very blur blurry blurry because the camera just gave up. Um. And a little bit. This is during race two. Are you guys like blurry things?
You can kind of see where I'm going. It's pretty heavy to turn. Up here it isn't, though. About 250k's in the straight there. Top of sixth gear. I watch my neck here, look. And then, like, it comes back to centre eventually. Definitely not road legal. There is like I think like there's a 2014 road car somewhere of like the old car, but that's about it. Um, thank you to Lucy. Thank you, Lucy. Oh, awesome! Oh, really? That's really cool. I mean, you'll be taking a bit of a step down to to work with me, I think, Lucy. But uh, that's really cool. Happy to hear you, uh, Monica. That must have been really fun. Um, Dave as well, thank you, dude, for the 1820. <laughs> Mate, thank you. Doesn't matter, dude. I just appreciate the support. Thank you, dude. <laughs> oh, man. Thank you, Dave. And uh, Emmanuel says, you can totally furnish a house with a car. I do it with motorcycles. <laughs> oh, man. Thank you for the tenor, mate. I might take the DR on track. I don't know. We'll see. I'm not sure yet. No, we don't go through Magnus and Beckett. So um, on on the international circuit, you basically, if you if you think of the GP circuit, T1, T2, um, T3, and at T4, instead of doubling back and going down the Wellington Strait, you sort of like go down a little hill to the right and then onto the Hangar Strait. Uh, well, okay, what I'm going to do very quickly is just back out of this. I said, can I change the difficulty here or not? Oh, yeah, let's, let's put that on 104 or something like that. Guys, BT Dubs, if you're enjoying the stream, feel free to tap that like button. Subscribe as well if you want. We're getting kind of close to 700k subscribers. Subscribers. Subscribers, scoops. <laughs> but which is a lot of boys, so, um,. Yeah, if you want to, if you want to subscribe, then do. Jack, mate, fucking hell, what's going on? Jack, thank you for the fifty euro, mate. Thank you. Seeing you in a Prague made me super proud of you, mate. Well done. Thank you, dude. So um, I've, I know this is going to sound like one of those classic YouTuber things, but like I had so many messages on Instagram, on Twitter. Um, through Discord, like I, I could not physically read them all, otherwise I would have spent my entire day doing that. Um, but they're all, you know, the ones that I did sort of see or glance at, they were all really super supportive. You know, all my, I got a message from like all my, all my friends as well, like, you know, giving me just, give me a bit of encouragement. That, that's the sort of shit that, you know, that, that's the sort of shit that really makes a difference in my mind, having people behind you and. So yeah, thank you for that. Let's do qualifying, lads. 104. That should hopefully be a bit more competitive. probably take the time to read them all well cole listen mate like i would honestly love to it's not a matter of being like uh, but like if you have literally pages and pages and pages and i'm there trying to either do a race or trying to do something else like you have to sort of prioritize some things you know it would be really nice to do that it isn't like i'm ignoring these people it's that uh, i read as many as i can 
before I then have to get on with other things. Otherwise, I'll be in the car reading messages. Do you know what I mean? And you also have to turn off at some point. Um, I've, I've learned that it's not healthy to be on your phone for a long time. It can do weird things to you. But I hope you understand what I mean by that. It's not it's not out of disrespect to anyone. It's out of just I just don't it's just it's just not it's not feasible. Everyone ready? You look tired, because I am. But, you know, I, I always appreciate it, you know, like, even when I was there, like, they're like there are marshals and um, photographers there as well who came and spoke to me, people from other teams that knew who I were or, or something, and who I were, who I was, and even that is mad, you know, like, yeah, it's, I don't know, it's one of those things that you never really account for in life and you I never really expect to have to experience but you kind of do I don't know do you understand what I'm saying or am I rambling I think I'm rambling right mate thank you thank you dude um you know the, the the success is because you guys watch me and put up with me being shit at sim racing so that's the only reason why I'm here um thank you Huck and B as well what classes are there in Brick Car? Uh, that's kind of a good question. We've got the Praga class, which is sort of its own little championship. That's really who we're racing, the other Pragas. Then there's, uh, but we're also part of Class 1. Like, we're Class 1 cars, so they're, they're like GT3s and stuff like that. Then there's uh, Class 2, which is like GT4s. Below that, uh, TCR cars. And they're also GT Challenge cars as well. Sort of, I think they're the ones in class two. Yeah, class two, that class three, uh, GT fours, then class four are like TCR cars. I think that is uh, all of them. Tipper in, oh yeah. Two stabs to the throttle because we're shit. Missed the apex because we're really shit. They missed the apex. I think I just went to another fucking circuit then. Yeah. Didn't happen, guys. I'm not quite sure what you saw. But it didn't happen. It is always that corner, you're right. I'm just bad. I can't give you a bonk, Tom. My soundboard ain't fucking on, mate. Wait, didn't I fix this the other day? Wait a second. No, I'd fix this. Maybe I should not do this on the straight. Maybe I can give you a bonk if you wait a second. You have a delayed bonk. Why is this so slippy? I have no arms because I raced yesterday in brick car. That sounds, my god, that's cool to say. And, um, yeah, I basically, it's a very physical car to drive. I was like panting when I got out of the car. Is that it? Oh, oh. Jesus wept! <laughs> Mazepin is my hero. I base my driving style on him.
No, I didn't do the video of uh, Cabwell because, like, basically, I um, I think the time has passed for it now. The next video now has to be the Brick Car video because that's what's happened next. It's my own fault. I just had too much to do. I didn't have time to really edit it, but um, I will show you a clip of it if you want to see probably the coolest part of the uh, of that race meeting. Oh my Jimmy! I got feckin' I'm bad now. I mean, now I've always been bad. Whatever. Yeah, don't go on and learn the Praga pedals. Yeah, I'm kind of fucking happy for this, aren't I? Um... What's that quality so bad? Okay. So this was, uh, this was in race two. I'll tell you what happened afterwards. Oh, but there probably won't be, won't be a video on this now. Um, so, I was right on the tail of this MX-5 coming out of the last corner, but the stock MX-5 is faster in a straight line than this car, this little bimmer. A bit of knob work there. Flat through here. Getting that toe. Massive ass. A lot of ass going in there, thank you guys. Eventually he relented and we took the place. Please. No Punterino Jimmer. Jeez. Uh thank you of Jenny. Cheers, mate. If any via the clips channel. Hello. But yeah, so I want to include that somewhere because I thought that was like, yeah, that's a really cool move, that. But, um... That was on pace and skill alone, that one. Um, but then, uh, like, a couple of laps later, I ran over a curb and the fuel line came off again. <laughs> I just sort of went, wah! So that, I didn't finish that race. Oh, I might put that in clips, yeah. Oh, okay, Lion, mate. I'll get some, I'll get some bigger eggs. Oh god, angry ginger? Dude, why are you so angry? Thank you for the 20 bucks, mate. Or I have to alt tab. I have to alt tab to see the messages. I don't want to, like, ignore them. Ah, nice man. That's the important thing, dude. You'll get better. I was terrible when I started, too. If you go back and watch my first public video, look how bad I am. Look how much I've not got better over the years. I'm <laughs> still the same level of bad. But thank you, mate. Hope you're enjoying the wheel, honestly. Yeah, well, seems you are. Um... Gareth says, how are my workouts going? Um, they sort of slowed down a bit because I got super busy. Um, and now I regret that. I'm actually going to like... I was using a trainer, like a mate of mine, um, who's a pretty good trainer, but I think maybe not specifically for what we're doing. So I might um, look into someone maybe a bit more specified, a bit more uh, specialised. There you go, that's what I want. The race, racing. Because, uh, yeah, I'm struggling a bit right now. and I'm 17, for fuck's sake. Um... Same tyres. I know I, I, no, I can go a lot quicker.
Hey Twist, yeah man, a good day, thanks man. But most of it, honestly, just relaxing in bed. It was nice and chill, I was enjoying it there. No, no power steering in the Praga. Doobie, that's why my arms are dead. Oh my god. Oh. Fuck's sake! Every corner down there, man! Well, I think that's us. Fuck qualifying, mate. Qualify. Mate, all my homies hate qualifying, dude. Give me that P17, baby. I would have been through to Q2 if I didn't fucking bottle that. <laughs> Thank you, Landacon. Cheers, dude. Lando Norris Comic Con. Can I put a wang on this? Oh! Wait a minute. Apparently there's some photos up from the other day. Um, from Praga Raga. Should we have a look at them or not? And then let me ask if we can show them or not. Hang on. Show him anyway. Thank you, chat. Chat, you're always really good at like being um let's change this background picture, shall we? Give me a second, lads. We need a blessed image here. You tell how, like, this stream today is very much just like, yeah, we'll do it when we do it. We really got a good vibe on here today. Oh my shit houses. Stomping penguin. Thank you, man. I don't know what what the plan is. I got no idea, honestly. My plan is to not think that far ahead and just enjoy the fact that I'm getting this experience right now. You know, the fact that I even get to you know, I, I get to be near this car, let alone fucking drive it, is amazing. So I don't want to be sitting around being like, oh, but what next, what next, what next? That's not how I want to do. Oh, it's me looking grumpy there. Oh, it's the boys. The lads. Chat, do you want to see... Right. Don't pretend, chat, that you're not a music fan. Okay? If you don't know this band. Alright? 
Wait a minute, maybe you can. Maybe I shouldn't show you the uh, web address. <laughs> oh, it's too late now. Uh, no, make it smaller, make it bigger. There you go. Who's that boy band there? Had to do it to him with the white shoes though. Had to do it to him, you know. What else you got in there? Please no puntery, no jimmer. Oh, that, that was out and before the, the sticker went on. And also we've got the world's grumpiest man. No, actually, I, I look like not grumpy as well. I look, I look all right. I mean, I've got, I've got, oh, I've got something for this. Chat, I've got something for this. Are you ready? There you go. Perfect. Kai, thank you. Yeah, the racing went um went well, ma'am. Oh god, should we, we play the game? <laughs> Do you reckon, chat? Playing the game? Drive fast, eat ass. Kiwi, thank you for the kind of member. Welcome. Thank you, Scotsman, as well. Cheers for the fiver. Yeah, amazing to be in the car. Uh, yeah, you got to give a shout out to Niels as well in chat. He helped me help me prepare quite a lot for this. So uh, make sure to give your love to Daddy Niels. By the way, tomorrow, guys, we're going to have another stab at the um, sim racing, uh, dot GP stream. I reckon we've got it all fixed now. God, why am I doing a full distance F1 race, man? Why am I doing this? Returns to Sao Paulo once again. Formula One! For what promises to be another classic Brazilian Grand Prix. Sebastian Vettel famously clinched his third championship. Here Thank you so much, guys. You've all been very generous and tonight and very kind and Max some very nice messages. Um, regarding the drives at the weekend, so thank you. Well, yesterday. Where the Sao Paulo locals are packed into the grandstands at each of the 15 corners around this classic 2.7 mile circuit. It's some water. It's some water chat. Famous highly technical sector two. We're getting a good run out of Jun Sao into one of the two DRS zones will be the key to any overtaking prospects today. Anthony Davidson is alongside me as usual for the race today. So let's briefly discuss Lewis Hamilton. What Not Wang! Had, a well deserved championship victory, and the pressure now surely off with the title already in the bag. It really is well. Why is he not discussing Wang? This title challenge, but certainly one that has been consistent and well managed. Here's hoping they let off a bit of steam today and give us an exciting race. No, I've not buddy taken the PC to repair. Do you know why? Because I had to get, take the hard drive out of it to put on the uh, PC up, up on the simulator so I could record a video of it. Moving on to the rest of the grid, we have Please, no Pantery, no Gemma. Daniel Kvyat and Stroll. Ty, thank you. Cheers, mate. Ricardo and Kimi Raikkonen. Sainz, they've taken a grid penalty. Grosjean, Wang and Albon. Russell, Vettel, Esteban Ocon, Where are my Wang Fangs at? Latifi, and Fangs. Ragunathan and Max Verstappen completes the grid. Wang Nation. Oh, great, I can't see. Out on top today. 
okay. A podium result could be difficult to achieve this race. So let's I had a wee chat. If I, if I see if I see any of those crabs when I get back, you're in trouble. Disappointed, lads. Disappointed in you. I thought I could trust you. I thought we could live in a crab-free environment. Yeah, I leave. And the frustration crustaceans come back. Thank you very much, Dan, mate. Appreciate that, dude. Thank you. Why don't I start on mediums? Fuck it. I'm going to edit the strat chat. Can I put a wang on this? Oh! Yep, happy with that. Uh, thank you so much, Nomex, mate. Trust me, it's always mad to even think that I get to do this, so... Yeah. Never any complaints from me. No, you. We want them nice and warm by the end of the lap. Right, hello, guys. It's me, part time streamer James Broadbent. Hello, welcome back to. F1 2020. We are at Ayrton Brazil! That's not actually where we are. We're at Interlagos. Starting on the mediums, because fuck it. P13. Because of a million penalties. And a really bad qualifying from me. Currently fourth in the championship. Not too far behind Le Greg. So we beat him. We might even have a chance of... Uh, of coming third in the championship. We've actually upped the difficulty as well. It was a bit too easy. And uh, to add to the difficulty, my poor Virgin Gamer arms are just completely fucking wrecked after um, after Silverstone, which is a cool thing to say out loud. Uh, I'm not going to lie. So let's have some fun. It's all right, I hate yourself. Thank you, man. 
Uh, thank you, uh, Mincon. Mate, you'll do. You'll you'll smash it, mate. You'll be fantastic. Ireland's a cool place, man. Is forming up. Be patient and watch for the lights. I hope you have fun. I hope you um, feel more chill soon about it. Oh, the gamer start. Oh, hello. Run! That's a decent start. Good job. Oh, God. Not really into that AI, just thinking, nah, I'm going to stop now. So I'm going to just very quickly hit the that didn't happen button. Don't think that happened, chat. I'm not quite sure what you're on about there. Oh, it's, oh, it's happening again! Ah! <laughs> I tried to get over there to block him. It didn't work. We're still there, yes! The cleanest defending you've ever seen, chat. This thing is horrible to drive right now. The chunder is... It chunders and it fucking oversteers on exit. It's stupid. And I'm out of... I'm out of NOS! Okay, you're in the top ten. Okay, nice. Finally got him. Get Geo. Easy. There you go. Let's let's try and actually be progressive with that throttle. Very rare. Remember that we are on a worse tire, and with a fatter car. She do be kind of rotund though. The chat, don't worry, I like, I like the thickies. Oh, I forgot to change my engine, didn't I? Fuck! It's alright. We'll just cough and splatter to the end. Okay, we're monitoring somewhere on the ice. No, shut up! Bono! Don't do it! Do him dirty, do him dirty, do him dirty, do him dirty, fuck it! Oh! Oh! What? He fucking just hurt me! A no from me. There you go. Luckily, the four seat back isn't too high. Uh, Nils, we've got to turn the four seat back up <laughs> on the sim. That's something I've learned from the weekend. Engine is looking a little warm. Power output will be less than optimal. Stop saying things. Oh, the dummy! The car behind is dropping back by about three tenths a lap. See that? Not very fun when I do it, is it? Ah, uh, not that button. Oh, I have damaged my wing, goody. Let's ignore that. Oh my god. 
front right tire would like to know your location. We've got a lot of spare energy. Use your overtake button. <laughs> oh my god. What is going on? I'm not sure if I'm jank or the setup is jank or it's both. I'm kind of thinking it's the former. Now I'm just not stopping. Brilliant. I reckon I'm jank, chat. <laughs> What do you wreck? I'm wearing my gloves, look. Let's just back it down a bit. Immediately slides and locks up after he says that. Brilliant. Take her easy. We are on the medium tyres. We should be slower than these guys, but we're still with them, so that's good. That's bad. He didn't lock up. He's a good boy, Jimmy. Who's a good boy? Oh god. Right, let's not stay behind this car for long. We need to get past. Do what I want, mate. I'm off the brake. How are you still doing that? Yeah, if only I had given Jared my gloves. This will be avoided. It's all my fault. I'm sorry, chat. I failed earlier, man. Turn down. It's as low as it can go. It's 50-50. People don't run that shit usually, I don't think. Yeah, do I still have BRS? I do good. Yeah, it was kind of um, You're losing a small amount of time to surreal seeing the GTR in the mirrors because it is feckin' massive com compared to the cutie that is our Goldie. But um, yeah, still pretty uh, pretty great to be on the same the same track as the 2015 Bathurst winning GTR man how cool is that seeing it in your mirrors that's like a motorsport history there I get to try and challenge it amazing amazing feeling so a little grip on the rear Uh, thank you, uh, Captain Miner. Cheers, dude. And thank you, uh, that's the Walker. Cheers. Yeah, man, the, uh, I heard the chat hugged live timing to death. Oh my god, this car is not set up nicely at all. But I get my load of random steam set up, isn't it? I mean, I've got some proper jank this time.
We're a bit closer though. That's good. We're getting pulled along a bit here, which is nice. Hey, has seen cheers, mate. All right, good man. I'm happy to hear that the streams have helped you. Even with just me being kind of mediocre at F1. A bit better having a difficulty a bit higher, isn't it? We're sort of more in the in the mid-pack a bit, instead of being sort of fighting Hamilton in the fucking wang car. Please. Please don't fuck the radar, Chibot. I'll figure out what the strat here is. Safe bit of fuel, maybe? Or I go full fuel and try and get by them both? Well, now we can. We're a bit closer. Oh yeah, I forget my ICU's fucked. <laughs> Ah yes, perfect. Oh! Fantastic. Two cars at once. Very well done. Dicks are out. Turn in. He ignored the warning signs. Excellent. That's right, that button's still there. Oh my god, this car, man. Shut up, Jim. It is the appropriate reaction there, mate. <laughs> Brake locking simulator. Don't even look at the brakes, chat. All right. Don't look at the brakes. Now the George Russell intimidation tactic is to crash on your own, blame somebody else, and go and smack their helmet afterwards. I'm being flippant, of course. That shit is uh, always easy to cool when you aren't in the one in the car. But there were some people who were like calling for like assault charges on George Russell for that. Fuck off. <laughs> Those people are insane, man.
Yeah, so that's the line there. Pick up the grass. Show racing strap. They charge for being salty, but a little slap on their helmet, you know. Uh, unless you're into that sort of shit, it's not going to fucking do anything. Bloody hell! Is it the kind of guys to watch a fucking race where people are literally hurtling round circuits at 200 mile an hour in carbon fibre bathtubs, and then go, "Oh no, but don't touch the other guy! Not illegal!" Thank you, David. I did see that, mate. Nothing like a BMW in the slow lane undertaking you, mate, is there? That's why you don't go faster in the slow lane than the guy in the middle lane. Oh my god, I didn't lock the brakes. I don't even know how that happened. Some witchcraft there. Oh, no, never mind, we're back. Back to normal viewing, lads. Got this. I always think I'll... I can't be just sort of got this bad this game overnight, man. Yeah, I mean, definitely, man. Like, I, I, I think that the, I think it was a racing incident that George Russell caused. Um, but again, like, imagine you're in that situation, right? Imagine you've just had this crash at like, you know, nearly 200 mile an hour. Your, your adrenaline's gonna be fucking pumping. You know, you're gonna be. You, he, he, he felt like he was pushed onto the. Onto there, and if you feel like that at the time, and your adrenaline's going, you're gonna fucking be angry. I'd be angry, but then you look at the replay and go, "Oh, actually, oops," you know. Um, but it's really easy in like the moment to just make a really quick passing judgment, you know. Because that's like that's kind of convenient for people. Then he wrecked faster. Yeah, man, but if, if Bottas is, um, it's, it's his circuit, mate. It's his track. He's ahead. People seem to forget what racing rules are until it inconveniences them with the driver that they like or they enjoy. He's ahead. He's um, taking the line he wants to take because of the different conditions. He's entitled to do that. Russell had space on the outside. He didn't make use of the space. He went too wide and hit the grass, which caused him to spin. That's his fault. Into the side of Bottas. That's how I read the situation anyway. The reason why I say racing incident is because the conditions are a mitigating factor. You know, it's difficult to judge that shit when you're doing that speed and having to make a decision in literally, you know, like a blink of the eye. Well, it doesn't matter why Bottas is so far back in, with the car. That doesn't change with what his, uh, what the, the rights of the overtake are or not. You don't suddenly go, well, yeah, fucking send him off, he's too far back. That doesn't matter. In that particular situation, it's just two cars.
It under under the rules, Bottas left space. That's basically it. You drive to the rules, you don't drive to like what's like morally correct or incorrect. It's why people in iRacing go down here to turn into this left hander up there, because the rules say you can do it. Even though sort of, you know, it's against you know, the sort of sport I don't know, it's not good sportsmanship to do so. Not in the spirit of racing. I'm not really an any driver fan, so I like to think I can be fairly objective, but obviously my opinion is just an opinion. Ain't correct or not. But we can discuss it. Let's not uh, do the thing where people get really angry because their favourite driver isn't being talked about. But yeah, it was pretty embarrassing for Bottas having Russell and Williams looking to overtake him, wasn't it? But especially when his teammate in the same car is just fucked off. I've got a feeling his time in that seat is limited. I hate that corner so much. Yep, still hate it. Thank you, Tom. Oh, mate, it's going to be a... Oh, he's pushing me! The stupidity of the AI saves me sometimes. I love it. Yeah, but he's just following the line. You know the circuit goes round like that, right? And bear in mind he's trying to stay on a dry line. He'd be driving onto the wet line himself. And because he's ahead, that's his his right. And if you look at it, it's not really a flick. It's a very slight change in steering. Which still allows space. If anything, it's a squeeze. Which is allowed. Ask yourself this question, right? If it was Mazepin who did what George Russell did, would you blame Mazepin automatically? Or would you go, oh no, maybe Bottas moved? Because I'm guilty of that with Mazepin. But it shows you're not really thinking, like, objectively. The thing is, Russell's a bit of a golden boy, so, you know, people don't want that to happen. He's also one of those F1 drivers that do the thing. You know, the thing when they post on Twitter and they're like, Ah, oh, man, tough race today. And it's just like him with his six-pack out. Tough race today. We'll recoup next weekend. Six-pack picture. Thank you, Russell. Fucking Georgie out there on a the hinge. I'm driving so bad now, but I'm just enjoying the chat, frankly. Exactly, my one pack. You gotta be wary of that. Gap to teammate behind is 12.3 seconds. A broad bent to bunch up. I don't even mean. Oh, thank you very much. Wood seat. Cheers, mate. I looked at that going through mid corner because I'm very clever. Sometimes I just forget how big my brain is. God, some. Oh, I fucking hate this. I've seen the Mazda spin, the Lux edition. I will like it. Be aware we 
expect the grip levels to thing is it's kind of it's kind of fun to dislike Mazepin isn't it because on account of him being like a fucking massive tool um, and just general scumbag but you have to try and like take that away when you're actually watching the sport itself as much as it's hard to do so Oh god, oh god, oh god. But I do enjoy seeing a shitty human being being roasted. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, that hat is pretty bad. I mean, like, Schumacher, like, spun on the fucking straight, and then was like, uh, oh well, car's bad. Fucking Latifi kills Mazepin, and everyone's like, fucking Mazepin! <laughs> it's that like Gordon Ramsay I mean, isn't it? Like, oh no, okay, it's alright, it's alright, Gordon, just don't worry. You fucking donkey! my god i what is up with has this changed have i got exponentially worse at the game the gap to the car ahead is 2.2 seconds Leave my broadband train alone, man. Yeah, exactly. It's the Prague. I'm used to that now. Let's use that as an excuse. I like that excuse. It sounds cool. In reality, I'm just bad. Mate, he got a full pissed off on me. That ain't good. Uh, people don't defend him because he's a Brit. They defend him because he's pretty. And he's fucking fast, to be fair. That's kind of what F1 has been turning into gradually. It's just simping all the drivers, basically. Definitely can respect his speed though, 100%. Guy's rapid. I'm really looking forward to seeing him in the Mercedes. When the inevitable happens. Pit window open. Let's box this lap. You've lost some time to the car behind. Yeah, of course F1's popularity contest. It always has been, man. Always has been. I liked Michael Schumacher so much when I was a kid because he won everything and had a cool red car. That's basically my, my basis on my idol in racing is that. <laughs> you know. Not some sort of deep, mm, oh, his, uh, his throttle trace is very, very attractive to me, as I know it. No, red car, good. <laughs> Still 
Thank you, Twan. You can buy a hoodie, mate. Get in there, Wang. Oh, God, thank you, Sin. Thank you, Aaron, as well. Cheers, Peanut Brother. Go, go now. Thank you, guys. I appreciate that. Very kind. Okay, you only have to stop once now. One stop left. Mazapin's a shitty person because he sexually assaulted someone. I thought it was a good idea to upload it to Instagram. Paid off the person pretty much. Well, it seems that way anyway. That is a educated guess given that the person who uh, uh, um, it happened to sort of suggested otherwise and uh, basically didn't really show any remorse or apology for it and then had the gall to be part of the fucking re Races 1 campaign with a straight face. Uh, anyone who thinks that sort of stuff's okay in my book is someone that shouldn't be anywhere near any sort of public eye influence. He basically got away with it as well. Use your overtake button more, it's time to utilise some of this energy. That's a terrible message. That's why I think he's a, an arsehole. But you're free to make your own opinion. I ain't telling you what to think. Mainly because I don't... I don't really care too much about what you think. <laughs> Wait, I'm in temp, this ain't good. Did I jump Kiv yet, though? On strategy alone! Maybe now I'll actually drive okay and we can pull away a bit. That'd be nice. Oh, no. Ignore that. Alex Alban's my rival, so I kind of really want to pass him. Shall I put a wang on this? Oh. Fuck's sake. Well, that ain't it. by a few tenths per lap we're leading our teammate by 17.0 seconds I'm not looking at the engine stop looking at the engine chat all right that's banned. Engine is the forbidden fruit. You can't look at it or touch it. And you can't lick it, for fuck's sake. I know you guys are into that shit. Yeah, the, the, the Wii Race is one message. It's just... It's just... It's nothing. It's marketing. There's no substance behind that at all. I think, ironically, one of the only people that really take it seriously is probably Lewis Hamilton. And he's the one that gets the most stick for, for doing it. I'm not angry, we're just uh, discussing F1. <laughs> because we're all nerds, we've got all strong opinions, haven't we? Right, anyway. Let's see if we can stop being average. I've not done a good lap yet, I don't think. I know it's hard, because mediocrity is sort of my vibe. I've messed up the corner every time. Please, no punterino, Jimmer. 
Thank you, Brandy. Cheers, mate. I think I appreciate. I think you sneal as well. No, it's not. It's fine. Engine down to lean through there, really. Okay, gap ahead is 1.8 seconds. Thank you, Stuart. It's Wangleborg Dutch Icelandic. Where is Wangleborg from, chat? He's not a Somalian. That's me, apparently. I think he's British in the game, but I don't think that's his true nationality. No, we're not. Shut up. UK. To manage this, we'll need to lower our ERS deployment mode. I go. Wangland. Yo. All right, I'm into that. What's all that meeting James May? Pretty surreal, man. I mean, but like, like most people who have like a following, you meet him in real life. They're just a person, you know. Like, it isn't like they're crazy. And he's he's a really, uh, really nice, chill guy. Chill is the word I use. Um, very much into, you know, very knowledgeable in the things that he is interested in. Like when I asked him about getting a bike, he basically sat me down for ages, like after we stopped filming, like half an hour and just taught me through like every possible bike and makes and stuff like that. It was uh, really kind of him to do that. Given that I was just some randomer that basically came along to eat at his pub. Mate, Jeff's just bad news today, isn't he?
pedal bikes. I forget most of what he told me because I, I was kind of just in awe that I was having the conversation, but... Ah, uh, Itchy! Guys, I hope you're enjoying the stream, by the way. It's really cool having you all here and being able to stream again and just just chilling out, really. It's really nice. Um, there's probably not too many streams left in the shed now. They're coming to an end of an era. Gap to car in front is 1.9 seconds. Of uh, hybrid now. That's Jimmy, not the line, is it, mate? Good effort, though. A plus for effort. Ah, oh, I hate that corner so much. Maybe we can move the basement into the shed. So instead of basement dwellers, you'll actually become shed dwellers. It'll be an upgrade for you guys. What do you reckon? Oh, Lord Rags. He's, he's just stalking. 24 seconds is nothing to the Lord, mate. He'll be on me like that. Take of the fingers, he'll be here. The engine's definitely costing us. That's only for basement dwellers, though. You know, people uh, who are silly enough to hit the join button. The rest of you just live in the garden. The basement dwellers get VIP hosing from only the finest mods and gigs sometimes. Love your gigs. Um, but I'll blame the engine. Don't worry. First thing you do when you get your odds um, is they give you a pack on like um, you know all the all the regs for racing in the UK, as well as the big book of racing driver excuses. And I've been studying that well. Out. Yeah, a lot of stuff happened in here, man. I remember when I first moved in, right? It was just a mattress on the floor. Nothing else in here at all. Literally nothing. Mattress on the floor and a charger for my phone. I upgraded to a bed. That was nice. Dug out my old sort of rig that... I hadn't used for a while. 
whacked up here in the corner. Um, had my TV on a garden table because I didn't have any other tables to put it on. I'm going to burn the tyres now. Yeah. Um, started the, um, the Gran Turismo series, I remember, on that mattress. <laughs> Well, I had no bed. I started did the first episode of that there. And, uh, and of course, the grass. I remember when we started the Discord. I remember thinking, I remember thinking, what the fuck's Discord? Mark made that for us, of course. Um, winning 500, of course, winning Le Mans. All the stuff in the long boy happened down here as well. The uh, Nissan GTR. Ah, oh, I've messed that up. There he goes. Give him the cutback though. Sweet. Can I put a wang on this? Oh. Yeah, it's weird that this little box has contained, like, the depth of my despair and the heights of my happiness. But ultimately, I think this is actually a, a place for the memories that aren't all good. I mean, like, you, you guys see all the good stuff in the streams, right? But obviously I never broadcast all the um, horrible stuff that happened in here with, with me and, like, my mind going down the drain when I was really suffering back in the day. That's the sort of stuff I think of most when I come into this sort of space. So I'll be glad to to move out. It's about time, you know what I mean? For me. But I'm also happy you guys remember it as a better place than that. It's sort of nicer. It doesn't give as much power to the old things. Ah, my God. Okay, I'm getting to real toasty tar hours, I think. I think I've ruined them. We need to push now. Use your overtake button for more power. Yeah, outgrowing, I think, would be a good way of putting it. Seconds. You know, we're going to have a really nice setup in a in the new house. You know, there's a massive room in there. I'm going to use for like a sim and game room. All the consoles set up for streaming in there. Okay, uh, like a desk, luxurious seconds. desk. Probably a couple of rigs in there as well. The walls are going to be just covered in like memories. You know, stuff from Grand Trismo, like photos of me commentating or. Being at Monaco with all the people meeting people, stuff for the Praga. It's really going to be like a new place for me. A more positive one. And absolutely no fucking RGB streamer lamps. They are banned. <laughs> Yeah, walls covered in signed photos of Stephen J. Bailey. Okay, you're dropping a few tenths per lap to the car ahead. They're edging away. Oh, Alban's edging into DTM. <laughs> See you later, Alex.
I'm gonna what I'm gonna have actually, guys, is like I'm gonna have like this plinth. And on this plinth, I'm gonna have um, the gloves that I said I was gonna send Jardier. And they're gonna be uh, and the piece is gonna be called Jardier's no, sorry, Jared's Hopes and Dreams. Thank you, Bob. House of Women Party, yeah. Built on Twitch. Another couple of beers. Sorry, I'm doing so bad, chat. I'm kind of just enjoying talking to you more than I'm driving this right now. I haven't quite gelled with this today. Yeah, I know, Liam, mate. I think about that a lot, about how, like, how I started and where I am. Uh, no, no way do I think that, like, this is, like, a secure thing that I've, you know... Someone asked me the other, like, the other day, do you think, like... What did uh, what made you realize that you've made it? And I, I, the, the response was like, I was like, "What did I say?" I don't know, but basically, you know, the thought was that I don't ever think that I've made it. I don't ever want to think that I've made it either, because that sort of brings this weird sort of entitlement to I've made it, therefore things should be a certain way in my life. I really dislike that attitude. I think you should always push to try and be better. You know, both professionally, but most importantly, personally. I think those people think they've made it. They they stop growing, you know. That's it. I never want to be that guy. <laughs> Thank you, Peter. I'm not getting fucking RGB lamps, man. Oh, thank you, Alex, as well. Sorry that I've, I've probably missed a ton of alerts. I'll make sure I'll go through them afterwards. I'm sorry if I'm missing any. I feel like I, either I'm not hearing it or like I'm just engrossed in what I'm doing. I mean, that, that line of thinking just comes from like when I was really depressed, you know. It wasn't any sort of like it's just a nice way of like bringing yourself out of it, thinking you can always be better, you can always improve. 100%. Although my arms right now are definitely not improving. They are crumunched. New boxing in uh, probably the next few laps. They are almost dead, though. Hey, Bobby, mate. Good to see you, dudes. Hope you're doing well. Get out of my way, the Tifles! How's my neck? <laughs> I feel it, man. I need to do some training. Tell you what, I don't want to know or even think about how I would be had I not done any training getting into the Praga. 
by my standards, I was doing quite a lot. You know, I'm I'm not ever someone who's had a massive workout routine. To even have one is uh, new for me. You know, I don't want to think about what that would have been like if I had done nothing. I don't think I would have lasted the stint. I'd have to pit. I think. You imagine that story. Pathetic gamer Broadbent has to pit because his neck gives up. Now this train is strong right now. Don't be texting me, Sam, mate. I'm not doing well right now. My excuse is that my brain's calibrated for the Praga now. Not for this plebeian F1 car. I'm going to box this up, I think. Oh my god, I tried to get on the boost down the hill. It didn't work out. Run away! Where's my water? I'm so thirsty! No, oh, I don't know where it is. Fuck. Go, go, go. That was our last stop. Oh. No more scheduled pit stops. In the, pits. In the, pits. the Lord has pitted chat. Yo, Lando better not be. I think he is, you know. I think I've been jumped by Slow Loris here. Unacceptable. Get him! Come 
Fucking scuffed engine, man. Come on. I'm going to get past him soon before my tyres go, basically. I can defend, but... Damn it. Massive ass. Oh, hello. Thank you, Rudy. Thank you. Welcome to the basement. Where it's dank all year round. Not the good sort of dank though. It's a bit of a boomer word now that I think of it, isn't it? You know, chat, that in less than two months I'm going to be 30. What do I do? Someone say just get younger. <laughs> Let's get younger, mate. Do you know also that on the day before my birthday, it's Alton Park, brick car. My single point. That's no. Do additional damage to all other no. Components. Stop it. Why is this shit so scuffed? Our gap to the car in front is 7.3 seconds. Don't miss the corner there, fuck it. I 
my engine is sort of dead. Have a cup of tea. Did I drink it? Hmm. Don't want to check the engine. Thank you, Taylor. Thank you, mate. Appreciate it. Big thank. temperature to say that's it because I'm getting fucking hot and sweaty I need a drink Yeah, getting the hydrate, guys. Got a hydrate. Now, chat. Does anyone see that? Anyone see that happen? Good chat. Well done. The, you will know. You will know the deal. You will know the deal. Not exactly what happened. Ba 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 We're not going to be able to run in this engine mode much longer. We're about a lap over target. Drop down to mix too soon. Seconds. On my one point, leave me alone. I'll get a fat Lando. The inferior streamer. It's all breaking, chat. <laughs> it's all breaking. Thank you, supple nuts. Man. <laughs> oh, thank you, dudes. Appreciate it. Pay hey, $15 to becoming a true Formula One fan. Obviously, using the fuel for fans. Love a bit of that.
I'm gonna fight for this one point, man. Oh yeah, I have forgotten to do a NordVPN shield. I'm terrible. What sort of shield will I be? Not a regular one is the answer. Hey, it's my gearbox die as well. Come on. No, I didn't. But for some reason, NordVPN still sponsor me, despite the fact that I haven't streamed for like 10 days. So, if you want a VPN, go get some deals. Link in the description or exclamation mark VPN. There you go. That was a good good shield, wasn't it? Jimmy, that I forgot to stream for like ten days broadband. Gasly, don't do it! I'm barely catch like the Haas. This is embarrassing. Come on, car. Front is 8.8 .8 seconds. We've got, we got a good old hefty train behind us, man. Oh, thank you, K-Mag. Thank you, Bulls. My God, Bulls? No, okay, good. I'm in too early for these corners, man. Stay out the toe. Do a backflip. Maybe. Come on. Escape. Escape. Virgin Wang Speed Car.
Oh, man, I really stopped there. Am I now starting to figure out the braking? 63 laps into the race. That'll be very on brand. No. Leave me alone. <laughs> Starting to make some lunges in the background now. Please no lingerino, Pierre. That wouldn't be very cash money of you. I'm getting a fucking point out of this race. Ross. Everything on this car is broken. We've got turbo. I, uh, MGU, ICE. All cremonched. But we're hanging on for that point. We're hanging on for that point, chat. I'm not even sure what you've seen. I don't know what you think you've seen. Maybe, maybe you got to refresh the stream, guys. I don't know. Something, something wrong there. You might have seen something that wasn't, didn't, didn't actually happen. Bro, is there a Mercedes lapping us? Oh no, we're gonna get lapped. I don't know, man. I'm the, I'm the head of the train. I want to hold them up all I can. That's racing. <laughs> I want this point, man. I know! There's five laps of fuel remaining.
Yeah, I'm pretty slow in F1. But I've never really taken it seriously. And even if I did, I wouldn't be very fast, but... I played for fun. Plus, I, I, I wouldn't want to... get in the way of God Emperor Opmir, man. He'd eat me. He would... promunch me. I, I, I don't want promunching. Oh no. Oh, I have fallen. This pace is strong, but be aware your tires need to go the distance. Demi. Giving that front left some love. Now, why I don't want to check the tyres? The really good way to know if the tyres are uh, not wearing or not is just don't check them, and they're fine. I've driven like shit today, man. Like, I've not actually done like a good lap at any point. Okay, well, Super out of practice. Wear on the MGUH. Overheating the engine will exacerbate the issue, so keep the temps under control. Please let me stop. Blue flag, blue flag. Stop telling me my car's gonna fall apart. I know it's blue fucking. How to get with duct tape at this point? Through. Have I got to wait for him? We just overtook him again. What's going on here? We got to get it out of the way or what? What am I meant to do there? Blue flag. He must have a penalty himself. Oh my god. Oh, thank God. Gap to car in front is thirteen point six seconds. It's our last lap, lads. They're fine by. Come on, we get that point. Mine auto is their crank. No, last lap. I got lapped. That's the end of the race. We'll see you in Park Fermi. Oh, mate. All that for a point.
That's a spectacular victory then, and with it, the championship is secure. It's been a magnificent season, and they thoroughly deserve it. Fucking Mercedes. Talk to me, Ants. What was it that was such, such a bad drive, wasn't it? Well, time management probably played quite a large role. One like equals uh, one vote for driver training in F1. Nah, I'm bothered about that. Okay, this is fun. So being able to keep up the lap times while still being smooth on the controls and gentle on the tyres, that's really where the race was won today. After an excellent performance at the Grand Prix, I'm sure there'll be plenty of celebrations tonight amongst the Mercedes team, and they certainly deserve it. I know. Le Le Greg's gonna get away from us now, man. That's it. Should have turned this court up. Should I? Oh god, I am tired though, man. Please, no punterino, Jimmer. Cheers, Ben, mate. Thank you. Hope you like the stream anyway, guys. Even though I was awful. Who was your driver of the day, Ant? Difficult call, but I'd like to say Esteban Ocon. That ain't Wang. He's just so gifted at getting the most out of his tyres, and he's shown... Amazing performance out there. I'm sure you're pretty happy with that. Your team must be ecstatic with how you're performing. No comment. I'm tired. No, leave me alone. I want to get my chalky milk. Sounds like get fucked. Get him a chalky milk. Yeah, there is something chill next time, definitely. Thank you, Pink Slip, as well. And no Russian friend. Yeah, everything's broken on the car. Thank you. Well, chat, thank you for watching me and my uh, nice Aston Martin hat here. Label still on, obviously. And again, thank you for all the just mind-blowing support over the weekend there'll be a video coming up soonish on the um on the praga race for a car this uh, this weekend the full race is uh, available to watch from a broadcast point of view on the barc youtube channel so go have a look see But um, take care. Have an awesome rest of the evening. Please, no Punterino, Jimmer. Thank you to William as well. Rocky, that's right. That's Rocky. Yes, dude. Oh, I'm so tired. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm going to go sleep now. Fucking hell. I shouldn't stream today. <laughs> anyway, guys, love you very much. And I'll see you soon. Bye. Oh.